Hey guys, welcome back to this series, Sonic Underground Thoughts and Theories. In today's video, um, I will be talking about the Oracle of Delphi. So, <clears throat> sorry, um, if you guys don't know who the Oracle of Delphi is, sorry. Sorry about that. Mm. So, if you guys don't know who the Oracle Delphius is, so basically he's a minor character out of Sonic Underground. So, if you guys don't know what a minor character is, basically they don't appear not that many episodes. So, with the Oracle, he only appears about a couple episodes. He only appeared. So, basically, he only appeared two, two, first, two first episodes. Um, the, the beginnings and harmony harmony or something when he wrote when in rome and also um he appear, he also appeared um six is a crowd so only about four episodes he only appeared so yeah so so yeah so make sure you subscribe to my channel and 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 don't forget to put notifications up when I, whenever i upload a new video so let's get started there are a lot of theories going on about the Orc of Zelvia. So I find this very interesting about interesting facts or opinions about about the Orc of Delphia. So um yes there's theories but also like stuff that, that doesn't seem right about the Orc because I've I've done a bit of research about the Orc that um a lot of Sonic fans, not just Sonic fans, also those who are not Sonic fans, um were a bit suspicious on the Oracle because people have claimed that or well, I don't like the Oracle because he likes to mess people around because um he likes to um say what what's coming up and stuff but people think that the the prophecy c c could be BS basically so so yeah so let's start with the case shall we so case number one um let's talk about the prophecy so as you guys know that um the prophecy um at the first episode of the sonic underground at the beginnings <coughs> as you can see um there's a clip of um <coughs> of queen lena visit to visit to the york of delphius about the prophecy so basically um queen lena just just had her three children Sonic, Sonia and Manic and um and um, the Oracle explains to Court Queen Lena about the prophecy so like so like one day um her and her three children will be the Council of Four and I have a friend so 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 basically it means that um once like once her three children grew grew up, I mean like fully grown up, they'll have to re reunite we reunite each other and um they will have to defeat what robotnik while they are out an adventure to um find their mother but like but like before they can reunite with their mum they have to defeat robotnik so so yeah so that's so it's, it's like a task basically it's like yearly task it is like like just having these set of goals so once the tri triplets reunited as as they have grown up like like fully grown up um the oracle explains to the trio that um about the um prophecy obviously like he explained to them about the prophecy in when in rome ep episode so if you guys haven't seen when in rome i'm, I'm gonna link the um the description down below so if you guys can check it out um the one in one episode because that's that's where because that's when the awkward explains to um, the trio about about the um where they can reunite with their mom and defeat what Rob robotic like basically like basically just refilling the truth about about the um prophecy so yeah, so so yeah, so a lot of people do 
suspect that the Oracle, um, a lot of people do suspect that the prophecy could be BS, basically. Because it's like, honestly, it is like, um, say for example, that, that, um, that, um, yeah, say for example, that, um, if a prof, like, like I have to read up with, with my mum in about five years time, and then out of five years, it may happen or may not could happen. It's basically like, X example, basically. But, People do believe that um, the prophecy could be absolute BS because obviously, like, you know, future may, future plans may not come true. It may not, it actually may not come true. So, yeah. So, yeah, so, number, f number two, case number two, the Oracle t tells Robotnik about the prophecy. So, I find this part very interesting. That's what I do find it. So, as you guys know that at the beginning of the episode, um, <clears throat> when um, Robotic um, has seen a blue hedgehog and just realised that, is it, like, it can't be them. Like, basically, Queen Elena sees three children and also also about the prophecy and then and then after when Robotic switched the um the footage that where where um the oracle appeared appeared um why well, yeah basically just appeared on this false field thing and then when the oracle told um Robotic about the prophecy so that so so basically a lot of people were saying that Oracle, what are you doing? Do not tell, do not tell the bad guy about the prophecy because obviously it, it may not come true. Honestly, it may not come true. It may not come true because it's like honestly, like that's how because that is how pissed off what Rob Butnick was like about the about when the Oracle told. Um, about about the prophecy so like people were thinking that right to all, like people were thinking that they wish that the oracle should never tell what robotic in the first place as well like like people were like why did the oracle told robotic as well because honestly if he told him if he just told queen Elena about the prophecy then he should just just only just tell tell her, but not Robotnik. But but why did he tell tell Robotnik as well? Because um, a a lot of people do do suspect that um, so not suspect like a lot of people do do think that the reason why the Oracle was doing it so that so that he he just wants to see chaotic. So that's what a, a lot of people do believe. So yeah, so like um, honestly, like I would be way pissed off if if um, someone tells the other person about the prophecy, like like a like a bad per a, a baddie about the prophecy. But obviously, like you should tell a good guy about the prophecy, like not the bad guy. But someone did because on one of those clips in on YouTube, but I'm not gonna mention who. Um. Someone did say that um, you should never ever like the Oracle should never ever ever tell a bad guy about the prophecy because like because because man not contrary it means like it it means what what the Oracle saying like 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 hey Robotnik in 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 years time the good guys will oh sorry sorry so my battery's on so my battery just come up um, so it's my phone popped up my phone with my battery so what was I saying yeah like well, like in in few in years time the, the good guys will come after you so it's it's like a threat basically that's when Robotnik feels threatened because that the good guys will come after him and and defeat him so yeah so like like I wish that the Oracle should never tell Robotnik in the first place it's not just me it's anyone that wished that um, 
the old girl should never tell what about Nick in the first place because otherwise because like because at, at that point if he did it then Queen Lena's kids wouldn't wouldn't put into danger so yeah so yeah so case number three um the oracle could be could be a villain so a lot of people do do properly believe that the oracle could be a villain on his show so right okay the real real reason why because right so there's a lot of body language there is about the oracle like to be fair, I've been watching The Underground ever since I was eight years old, but I still watch it. I still like. I'm never too old or anything, but I've I've seen body language about the Oracle, like when he, cause cause like when one of the trio have asked him the Oracle about the prophecy and stuff, he he obviously refused, cause as you can see um, at the at in the si at the six is a crowd episode. You can see the oracle. You can see Sonic asked the oracle about get, giving a straight answer, and then the oracle refused. But where's Sonic? He is not stupid. Sonic is not freaking stupid about 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 the oracle's body language. Because as as you can tell, the oracle has got something to hide, and he refused, and it, and he refused to tell. Because because a lot of people do believe that he he could be bad a bad big big bad villain of the show because as you guys seen um episode when he run the part when he sends the trio into this rhyme place um it does it does seems it does seems that the oracle is basically just trying to kill the trio which if he if he was trying to then that's that is just bad, honestly. That's just disgrace. Like when he just sends the trio into a place that they don't know, and then just end up getting killed. Cause to be fair, yeah. Cause the part when Sonia and Manic was were got sent into got sent into the lion's den by Slate and Dingo, um, in the Rome version. They was more likely to be killed, like just just be killed. So yeah, so he he could be the villain of the show of the Oracle, cause cause the Oracle could could do anything. He could. So yeah, yeah. So so yeah. So that's what a lot of people do believe that he he could be the villain. He could be. So yeah. So. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the Oracle? Do you think do you think he could be the villain of this show? But let me know down in the comments down below. So I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this video. Um I do apologise about feeling a bit awkward and something that I just it's just stuff that tries to pop up through my head. You know, like I'm just trying to be brave enough to do it, you know, because um, I haven't been well lately and plus a lot of stuff going on recently so yeah so thank you so much for watching this video give a good thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put a notification up when i upload another any videos i've been uploaded so yeah so i might yeah so i find these theories quite interesting theories and thoughts about about the underground like stuff that i could just realize and just identify you know so yeah, so thank you so much and I'll see you on my next video.